Welcome to class 24 Old Testament. Uh, this is possibly the last class for the Old Testament. And this has to do with the prophecies of Balaam, the end of the journey in the desert, the death of Aaron and Moses, and about water coming from the rock. <clears throat> this is taken from the book of Numbers, chapter 23 to 20, to 23, 27 chapter, and Deuteronomy 34. So, in the 40th year in the desert, there was again a murmur of the people because of the lack of water. So the Lord commanded Moses to produce water from the rock by a word. Instead, what did Moses do? Moses struck the rock with a rod. The water flowed out, but the Lord said that for his di disobedience, Moses and Aaron would not enter the promised land. This is symbolic. The promised land is a prototype of the kingdom of heaven and not Moses as a symbol of the Old Testament law, but Joshua as a prototype of Jesus Christ was supposed to introduce a new Israel into it. Aaron soon died and Moses clothed his son Eleazar in the robes of the high priest. Then, for another murmur of the Jews, an invasion of poisonous snakes befell. The Lord ordered Moses to cast a copper serpent and erect it in, it in the center of the camp. To, that means to hold it up into, in the center of the camp. The stung ones, the ones that were bitten by the snakes, having looked at it, did not die because the serpent was a prototype of the crucified Christ. The scripture quotes, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting eternal life. Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 14 and 15. Finally, the Jews left the Sinai Peninsula and began to bypass the Promised Land from the east, moving along the eastern bank of the Jordan River. They were attacked by the Canaanite kings Sihon and Og, but the Israelites defeated their troops and stopped in the plain of Moab opposite Jericho. The Moabite king, Balak, being afraid of the Israelites, invited the magician Balaam from Mesopotamia and asked him to curse Israel. It was said about Balaam that whomever he blesses he will be blessed, and whomever he curses, he is cursed. But on the way, the angel of the Lord stopped Balaam and ordered him to bless the Jewish people. And Balaam did so three times from different mountains. And he also predicted that a great king would appear among the people of Israel, quote, a star rises from Jacob and a rod rises from Israel and smites the princes of Moab and crushes all the children of Seth. Based on this prophecy, 15 centuries later, the Magi came to worship the King of the Jews, the infant Jesus. Before entering the Promised Land, 
Moses reminded the Jews of the laws given by God during their stay in the desert, the book of Deuteronomy. By the command of God, he appointed Joshua as his successor, laying his hands on him. Then, after saying goodbye to the people, Moses went up to Mount Nebo to see the promised land before he died. He died at the top of the mountain at the age of 120. But the place of his burial is unknown. And Israel, quote, and Israel had no greater prophet than Moses. But the Lord foretold to Moses about the appearance of such a prophet. I will raise up to them a prophet of their brethren like you, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them as I shall command him. And whatever man shall not hearken to whatsoever words that prophet shall speak in my name, I will take vengeance on him. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18 to 19. This is said about Jesus Christ. And so ends class 24 and the study of the Pentateuch of the Old Testament. God bless you all.